it is time. All right, this is The Moth by the Manchester Orchestra. Uh, there's a really cool station, in, like a rock station in Vermont called WEQX, and I listen to it when I'm on the car. And then I have that little shabam, what's that, shabam, or whatever the heck that is. I tell you, I always yeah, have shabam, to, isn't that shabam, it? Shabam, and that, uh, I always have it in my car because I always play some stuff like, wow, what is this? And, and growing up in Boston, this the, the kind of music they like down there, and and there's a little piece of me that likes this kind of stuff. And again, too, why I, I, I picked this song, because it has emotional content that mm -hmm. it sort of lifts me up. I'm like, whoa, what is this? And, that, and that's it. <laughs> Let's get lifted right. up. Manchester Orchestra, The Moth. Yeah. On Galaxy Jams Reacts. Cool, right out the gate. Yeah, cool drum part, too. It's like a little funny time. Right. You are right about that. Ooh, I love that bass line. It's, it's foreboding. Nicely mixed, too. Yeah. Yes. Love that guitar part. Oh my god, I love this. Me too. <laughs> yeah, it's a vocal. It just gives you a feeling like, I mean, that's why I play. It's like, ah. Oh, it's know. like pop and alternative at the same time. Mm. Yeah. English, they're an English fan, I believe. Yeah. Yep. And he took this out. I love those kind of Mumford and Son style harmonies. I can hear that. Yeah. I love, so sonic. It's like a little bit like yes. Coldplay ish. Yeah, I can see that too. Like, the sonic is the, 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 that's a good word for it. That's why I like it. It's like it's, it's just, just floats, you know? Those little syncopations. I'm actually uh, really glad you brought this because I love Manchester Orchestra and I've been listening to them for, I don't know, like uh, probably about four or five years. Uh, they popped up on a mix that I had uh, going on Spotify one time and I've been a fan ever since. Uh, cool. The thing I love about the vocals in this, and this is kind of different than some of the earlier stuff they did, uh, he, his vocals were a little more pronounced and this is like what, what I was saying before, it's kind of very sonic. And it actually, his vocal style in this almost reminds me of like the Silver Sun pickups. Do you remember them? Yes. It's yeah. almost it's almost like Smashing yeah. Pumpkins, but like the Silver Sun pickups kind of took the Smashing Pumpkins kind of sound of vocals and and really aired it out. Um, and I, that's I'm getting those kind of vibes here on this one. Yeah, it also gives me uh, like the Mars Volta, but like more yeah. relaxed, yeah. especially in the inflection that the vocalist has. Also, speaking of the vocalist, leading vocalist in this, Andy Hall, said that the central theme of this album is family and the circle of life, the significance and insignificance of yourself. Ooh. And uh, uh, the band uh. actually commented on this album and said that this album was a test personally, emotionally, and creatively creatively to see how far we could push ourselves without breaking the record was intentionally uncompromised on every level we made sure to explore all the options and that we were moving forward with the strongest approach for each song strongest part strongest melody and strongest lyric 
Oh man, it's fascinating. That's it. Russ, I'm so so glad that you brought this one to us. This is probably the only artist that the show will ever ever do that I've actually played with, and so I'm so excited. Oh, you played with you played with them? Played with them? Yeah, nice. we for a, a oh, cool. festival here in uh, Virginia Beach, and it was so cool uh, to see these guys crush it and absolutely like own that crowd. But yes, like now that you have that that note from the band, it it does sound like they re- they really pushed and really were hyper selective in kind of every part. Everything's of this song. on purpose and. I don't know. It does make me feel insignificant because it has like this kind of darkness to it and mm-hmm. and a foreboding element of the song that is just captivating. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. Russ, have you ever seen them live or met them before? No, I never have. And like I just said, I sort of stumbled because of this radio station. And and like you said, I realized they've been around for a while. They were playing somewhere, mm-hmm. Boston or somewhere coming up, and I, I couldn't go see them, but... Yeah, no, I don't. I've never met these guys. So good. I thought it was cool. Like again, too, I, I just react to her and like, okay, get the phone out. What are you, <laughs> you know you're, what I mean? You're like, sigh, bust the phone out. I guess they got me. Gonna have to find yeah, out who no, it is. I, I, I'm looking. I remember my my buddy and I. We were we were young kids. We'd have the pad. We listened to like this radio station in Boston that was like a like kind of like a college radio. Like, what was that? Then you have to wait for the announcer. Then you have to then you write uh-huh. it down. You know. <laughs> Like cool. the old days where you used to tape the song off the radio. You, you, you know, exactly. I'm waiting. Yep. I'm waiting for six hours for them to play the song. I'm going to hit this button, and you get like you always miss the beginning. <laughs> yeah, Every exactly. Time. Oh yeah. Every time. I, I, my grandfather gave me an old reel to reel. I used to do that. So <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> it was hard days back then. It was. <laughs> now it's just as easy as clicking a button. <laughs> And like I feel like they just have like a fuzzy sheen on everything yes. to give such a huge, almost lo-fi sound to it. Yeah. Cool little keyboard part sneaking in there. Yeah, just adding a little bit of movement, just for a second. Yes, right there. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, now we're getting into the melt my face off portion. Once again, it's serving the song. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it makes me like, I mean, I always love rock. It's like, yeah, man, I can play. I would love to play this song, you know? It's just, uh. I feel like if I saw them live, I like wouldn't even be able to breathe. I would just feel like, ugh. <laughs> yeah. It's like relentless. A wall of emotion. Yeah. yeah. That's the bottom line. That Great cool. cutout. Cool ending too. Uh huh. Of course, they got to leave you hanging a little bit. I think the endings yeah. for every song mm-hmm. we listened to today have been really unique. Yes, definitely. That was great. Thanks for bringing that, Russ. Very satisfying. Well, you're welcome. Thank you yeah, so I much for sharing. Know. Yeah, it's like sometimes, sometimes I got to get listen to most, some of their other stuff. But I, um, they have some really cool that, albums out that, there. That, that, that one got. Yeah, I have to check them out more. Sounded great. Hi, this is Mike with Galaxy Jams Reacts. We hope that you enjoyed that React video. Be sure to check out the links below of when we're going to be live streaming our next show and also how to watch full episodes. Please hit that subscribe button. Every single one helps.